Hi there, I'm Becca Feakin with Amazing Paper Grace, and licensed designer at Spellbinder Paper Arts. So, how many times have you, ever, have you ever bought a die and you know exactly what the die is for? The manufacturer made sure that you knew that die was gonna do that. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you look deep inside your dies, there are many more uses than you've ever thought of. So what I'm talking about is cutting your dies. I know, right? Yes, you want to cut them because think about this. A die has a motif and it has a feel or it has a character and you can stay in character by creating embellishments from those particular dies. So I want to show you a couple cards I brought along. So this is a really romantic card. It has um, lots of swirls and curls on it. So it has that character that I was telling you about. I needed something else to go with it and I didn't have to look very far. So we're actually going to make a card very like that. It's gonna look like this. I wanna tell you the dies that I used. So I used Spellbinder's Sweetheart Swirl. I also used Spellbinder's Hemstitch Circles. I used Spellbinder's Hemstitch Rectangles. And I also used Spellbinder's Ringlet Round. So we're gonna dive right into this card and I'm gonna show you how cutting up your dies can give them extra light. All of my card bases are five and a half by seven and a half inch. So I've gone ahead and I've made a card base that's gonna be this size. This is a very easy to put together card. So it's not about the card, but it's how we use the dies and we'll get there. So I'm just going to adhere this down uh, on my card base so that I have uh, a good working surface and this is a vintage wallpaper uh, and it, it just seemed to go right along with that uh, romantic look that I wanted so I'm just gonna put my tape down and then we're gonna start layering I audition a lot of pieces on a card to make sure of what's gonna go there and there's kind of a a thought process and layering. So I'm gonna start out by putting this piece front and center. It's gonna be on the bottom and when you're layering, you build from the bottom to the top. And then I'm actually going to add a circle that will have a sentiment on it. Then I'm going to layer this over the top. And do you see how these layers are working? They work together, but it's kind of like they go from bigger to smaller. And then I'm gonna finish up with this. Okay, so let's get to adhering. When you're using foam tape like this, you wanna make sure that you balance uh, your piece so that you can't really poke in and get any give. That way it's gonna present a sturdy base for the rest of your card and it's not gonna look rumpled. We need to stamp our sentiment, so I'm going to just reach for um, a Be Brave stamp, ink it up, stamp it right in the center. And it will also get a balance of tape as well. And then following that, we're going to put down Sweetheart Swirl. Now you may wonder, how can I even tape that? Because it doesn't seem like there's any real estate. Um, you really want to work with small slivers of tape. And so with this, grab some handy tweezers and just put a couple of pieces uh, where they're not going to be seen. So I'll now put this on top and there we go secure it and then last of all we're going to put down the hem stitch circles here we go so i have the card together but there's not enough on this card remember what i said about character i'm looking for something that's in character so you're going to be surprised at what i found there's another die called Spellbinder's Hem Stitch Rectangles, and I thought, hmm, that's gonna make a lovely border. So off to the cutting machine, 
and I'm just going to cut ever so little off of the top. And that is my new border. Now, I thought not quite enough yet. And so I spied a really sweet piece. It has a lot of character. And that's in Ringlet Round. I want you to take a look at this. Look at all the detail in that. Hmm? So I brought out the Platinum 6 because we're going to cut this. And then you'll see what I mean. So as I mentioned before, the large platform with a clear platform, I put my die face up. And then I am just going to roll it right through. And there we go. I'm going to take a look at that. Oh, it fell right out. So look at this gorgeous piece. So guess what's next? We're actually going to just cut it in half. That's what I mean by looking within your die. This was already just a motif that's hanging around, but now we're going to put it to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the border that I cut and actually I'm going to just run a line of tape right behind it. And now I'm going to thread this by putting this V up on top, which is actually a pointer that's going to direct your eye down. So the first one's in place. I'm going to do two more of these. I'll do this right here where I'm going to thread this on. And the adhesive is taking hold. And then just because I wanted it centered, I'll do one in the middle. Okay, so this is our new border that I am adhering down on the card. All it needs are three pearls and we're done. So I'll pull off a pearl for down here on the card, a pearl for at the top, which conveniently hides uh, some mounting tape, and then at the bottom of each point. And we are done. We have added something else to our card that's in character in the same collection uh, that kind of fills out a space that I didn't really have anything for, but it's from dies that were already in my stash. That's die cutting. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!